Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's Tracy Brown, and I'm back with what? Video number three of our 30 for 30 March Madness Financial Challenge. That's right, we're gonna help 30 families over the next 30 days start their journey to financial freedom and flexibility. Now, in video number one, I can't recap long, I gave you guys two financial objectives that everyone in this country should meet. Your current lifestyle is paid for by your labor. Your future lifestyle is paid for by your investment. Something has to work, just not you. At some point, you're gonna get tired of working. At some point, you're not gonna to wanna to work. At some point, you shouldn't have to work, but you have to have some future investments in place so that one day, you won't have to work, right? And now video number two was about one of the four challenges that keep you from meeting your financial objectives. It was about inflation, that silent income killer. See, inflation, goes into your income and drops it every single day. Why? Because in this country, it's called free enterprise. The business owners can control, can increase the cost of goods and services whenever they feel like it. It's not a bad thing. It's only bad if your income is limited and you can't outpace inflation. Very few people calculate inflation when they try to get ahead of the curve financially. And it's something that you must understand and it's something that we teach you how to do. So in video number three, we're going to talk about the second challenge. Now, if inflation is the solid income killer, man, guess what the chainsaw massacre is? Taxes. Do you guys know that a lot of people try to budget their way out of a financial mess and you can't do it? You want to know why? The number one expense you have are your taxes. Let me give you an example. If you make $50,000 a year, but the government takes $18,000 off the top, if you have a W-2, then you take home $32,000. Now, where in the world are you seeing another $18,000 coming off the top of your paycheck? It's not your shoes. It's not your clothes. Ladies, it's not your husband. Husband, it's not your wife. It's not eating out. $18,000 went out the door before you even saw it, and that's because your biggest expenses is your taxes. See, basically, guys, you work for the government on a W-2, and I always tell people, it's nothing wrong with your job. Be thankful for your job. Just don't be satisfied. But you work for your boss, and you work for the government. You actually work for the government one-third of the year because they take a third of your check. Now, I don't know about you, but when I learned from January to April that I worked for the United States government, that's when I knew information changes situation. Write this down. When your priorities change and you change the way you think, it'll change your life. So, see, I realized that I can't work for my boss and the government. Now, I'm not telling you to quit your job. What I'm telling you is to understand that the government has carved its way into your life with taxes. Now, this is not about tax evasion. This is about tax minimization. In other words, you already got property taxes. We got sales taxes. We got Avalon taxes. We got liquor taxes. We got state taxes. We got federal taxes. We got all these taxes. Do you know that your income taxes are the one tax that you can't control? That's right, because it's your income. So what we, what we do, guys, is real simple. We teach strategies, not sales, not hype. We teach you real strategies that wealthy people do that they just don't teach us in school. So understand that wealthy people pay their share of taxes, but the goal is not to overpay your taxes. Once we teach you how to overcome the financial chainsaw massacre, you will be well on your way to achieving your financial goals. And I look forward to sending you the next video we teach you how to overcome the financial curse. So to speed things up, like this video, share this video, and comment below, keyword, no more massacre. Again, like this video, share this video, and comment below, keyword, no more massacre. And remember, don't wish it was easier, just wish it was better, and who could become better? Anybody. And I always tell people, it's okay for your pockets to be broke as long as your mind makes sense. Hustle and motivate. Peace.